Yeah, so apparently this is started. So hello everyone. I hope this will not suck. I had to fix lighting at the last moment because there it was too flashy. Flashy is that the word? I had a, I had made this abomination. Fucking. Oh yeah, and internet. Uh, actually, I don't know. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to try to make some condenser. Of course, condenser. What, what else would you make for a first time? I've made this one. I mean, it's pretty okay-ish. There's quite long extension. I had made this just as a test piece, so it's pretty short as well. But anyway, I have finally made this light working. I plan to use my own motors, but now I'm using steppers here. Also, I forgot to not forget, but I didn't order this because using rubber bands here. It's quite tricky to get those turning at the same speed, so... And... There's my HHL system. So, I'm using that for flame and also I'm mixing some propane in. So the temperature is a bit colder, at least I hope it is. Don't know, it works. Yeah, and uh, here is my Alien Go one. I had quite a big trouble making these condensers because let's say I made this side and then I moved then I moved there and then I started hitting this because I don't know, I guess I shouldn't do that. So this side actually cracked a lot, so that sucked. Paulo Andrade, the Brazil. Well, this is Czech Republic, so not quite. But I guess you are from there. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So I guess let's get started. Maybe I should tell how I'm planning to do this, because if that will work, actually, because uh, I will try. If I can remember. So I guess first thing I should do is make this large tubing, melt cut it here so it's sealed there, so there's nothing, there's nothing, and here's this tube. Then make these two ports here for the water, and I made pretty terrible job here. I don't know if you can see this. This really sucked, so I'm not going to touch this really. So maybe a little uh, melt the edges so it's not very rough. And then I'm going to attach this in inner tube. And yeah, from one side, from this side. I'm always going to work from this side because this thing is movable there. So. Yeah, I'm going to attach this side, then I'm going to put plug there, turn it, attach this side, and that's about it. At least I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I will be successful because yeah, I pretty much suck at these joints because I mean look at that, it's it's awful. This side I I'm pretty satisfied with this one. It's nice. Okay. I mean, I could show you some pieces that I did previously. For example, this thing. I mean... <laughs> that was, I guess, second thing I made, actually, so... 
I guess not that bad. I mean, it's still, so that's a plus. Yeah, but having said that, uh, first of all, I will have to prepare or all these parts basically. So this thing about this land, I'm quite okay with that. These two pieces and and this thing should be also quite shorter. So I will need to prepare these pieces. So I'm going to do that. And I made some tubes, I cut them by hand for magnetic steering. I hope these are 8 millimeters. So I'm going to use these, I guess. If they are not sealed from one side. Yeah, this is and this isn't as well, so I'm going to use this, I guess. to cut this two basically about there and make some bubble. Sorry if I'm not framing this. I suck at this. <laughs> Hi, Milos from Slug Republic. How it goes? Ah, I'm also from Slovakia basically. I'm not with, in Czech Republic, so you know you know how it goes. <laughs> but it's Pretty nice, I didn't expect to have a lot of viewers from there. Okay, so I guess, uh, we'll watch. yeah. Yeah, these tubes, uh, these two outer and inner tubes, I will make as a last, I guess. I mean, I am not, I can screw even this up, so. Also, this starting pro procedure for for the flame is quite. I have to put uh, turn on propane first, wait for some time so hydrogen and oxygen goes away, and hope it will not explode. Okay, that's nice. And I will turn HHO on, and I will need to put something so the flame doesn't extinguish in the meantime. So. Well, the concentration isn't so high. And also I'm running now at about, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this, this, this is the correct meter. Two amps, that's about 500 watts, so this is pretty cold. But it will work for this one. With bigger diameters you may have problems uh, with so low powers. Okay, so I'm going to hit this and make a little bubble also I need bigger container for scrap glass because I have glass everywhere that sucks. Also, sorry if I'm not responding to chat, but because I cannot really do this and look at the same time, so... Also, I should do this in, on camera, but I don't know if you can see it. I, I think that you can. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sucking at this right now, so I guess title is, is pretty correct. Okay. Basically you have to turn this pretty consistently with your hands, or otherwise it will suck. I'm not using lathe this time because it's pretty much sucks to prepare blowing. blowing stuff because I am using quite improvised setup so I guess this should work yeah ok 
Okay, okay, I, I screwed this up because I bent the glass inwards. Of course, I'm impatient. Okay, let's get do something with this. It's not that bad. Ah, it's pretty okay. Oh, sh shy. Whatever. I have screwed my tool for cutting glass now. Yeah, it's pretty ugly, right? That's abomination right there. Anyway. You know what? Uh, I mean, it won't work anyways, so why, am, why I am even bothering with this, but... Video on HH Hojan. You mean to make one or that this is one basically because it quite is. So, what I was doing, I had these cutoff wheels or not cutoff wheels, these are grinding wheels and I fused uh, alumina basically so it's okay, but it doesn't stick very well to glass so that sucked. I don't know, is, is this video okay on your end? Because I am not sure if I get good Wi-Fi signal there, so... Also, I need to turn this uh, HSO game generator off pretty often because... Well, basically the water is overheating if it runs for a long time, so... Yeah, cutting glass. So I was using this for cutting glass to scratch it, basically, so I don't have this. Are we going to try to make this work, or...? Ah, fuck it. I will use this piece and pliers to cut it, so... Okay. Oh man, I'm, everything is falling off I and mean, this doesn't really happen or I mean does but not this often. This is only because I'm streaming so yeah I just turn this thing off and I can turn it on again because why not? Because I wasn't planning this really. Uh, oh well this much, okay. Okay, so I'm going to make bubble the, there now. But the thing with this HHO is basically that I need a little bit hotter water because it gives more power now. And this is pretty small power right now that I'm using. not turning it consistently so but I will try to not screw up this thing even though it's quite short so I am not very sure if this will work I guess I could pop the, this one already ah, okay. I'll try to melt a little bit more there, so it's more expanded on the end. 
Okay, I guess this will work. Yep, pretty good. I guess I should unplug this while I can, because if this gets cold, there is chance that you will not be able to disconnect this thing or this. What's this uh, fucking taper called in English? I guess taper, right? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so I have this and now I should cut the big tube. I'm going to use light for this one because I want to melt cut it. thinking but I don't want to waste this piece basically that I have to hold so if I melt cut it there wait will this work uh, I don't think so I mean I could basically pull glass or like deform it there and pull it with some scrap piece like this am I going to do this don't think that will work very well Okay, so whatever, I'm going to waste some glass. Man. Okay, I guess, I guess I will put these pieces somewhere. Should have some box to put things. I don't, because I'm not prepared. I guess there will be safe, right? What could go wrong, right? Okay, I'm going to hold it. So this uh, spindle locking system is not quite not exactly superb, but I mean, this is made from really just laser cut steel and screw it together with basically no other machining. So, what can you expect? Also, this thing was laser cut, so I it's pretty good that this thing actually works, right? Okay, anyway, so what are we doing? Cutting glass, okay. I think I will need a little bit more flame there. That's too much. Also, the interesting thing is that if you mix propane with AJ Joe, I don't know what is this thing. I think this is hydrogen burning, and the propane with oxygen is burning right there, so. I guess uh, there was no fucking come on. The needle level on this thing is pretty atrocious, so that's there's that. Okay. How am I going to do this? I mean there's camera basically in the way, so well, it's not pretty bad.
I guess you see nothing there. I should also get something to check if the glass is already... Ah oh yeah, it's already going. Also the issue is that this... Uh, this carriage is not very, not very concentric because it has a pretty primitive system for like uh, pretty primitive system for movements uh, for limiting the movement. So I will need to now basically lock this again a bit more. I mean, I don't really have to, but I am risking that that this glass will slip through the fingers, so... And now I have to hope that this will not explode, because... You can see... Can you see the... the how it's not concentric? I guess you can. And also I'm a little bit stressed out, because I am streaming, of course, for the first time. So I am shaking my hands and... Stuff, I'm dropping stuff on the ground, so I'm yeah, I'm moving the glass now. So, but at least this side is holding well. So that's glass. Need to make it more molten. to do and this is absolutely not locked okay anyway so I guess I will have to do what I wanted to do basically melt this side and pull it with some small stick or something yeah okay And having said that, I think it would be best if I could work with with smaller piece, so I guess I will cut it now. Hope it doesn't blow when it when you turn it. What do you mean? Like uh, guess is inside? Guess is get inside. I mean it's possible, but um I have watched a video from Thunderfoot on glass blowing, he did recently. And he used only oxygen and propane, and that thing when it, when it, when it exploded, it was fucking violent. I it haven't happened to me with thing. I think, as I said, the outer flame is only hydrogen and propane, and oxygen is burned pretty quickly. So at least it appeared to me that if some gases got inside only the hydrogen basically burned so I guess worst case that that can happen of course it can explode but it will be more likely that it will form a strong vacuum when the water vapor will condense and then something may implode basically but I am absolutely not sure if I am correct with what I'm saying Okay, so I want to... Um, what, I, what do I want, even, really? I don't know. I want to about... 25 centimeters of the tube, so... Where's my marker? Uh, 
don't know. Anyway, about about here. Fine. And I guess I'm not really even going to use pliers. I'm going to fucking cut this by hand. And <laughs> I'm going to try because I'm not sure I, how will I hold this with pliers. do I guess this nut here is loose or is it? Well it doesn't look like too much but I guess it was. So now I just I scratch the glass and I will I will try to break it now. It's still very cold flame, but I had to limit the electrolyte concentration on the HHO system because, as I said, the water would overheat very quickly and I won't be able really to finish this thing, I guess. So I'm not going to touch this and hopefully it will break, right? No. Come on, man. Okay. Of course it didn't break where I scratched it. Why would it, right? <laughs> I need better tool for that, really. But... I don't have any right now. I mean, I don't know really where to get suppliers for these tools, so I try to make them myself if I can. I don't really want to buy from Amazon or places like that. Definitely not from China, basically if I can avoid it. I don't have even storage for glass right now, so this is pretty, pretty iffy as well. I'm, to, I'm going to break that something today, I'm pretty sure. Also the thing, thing with this uh, mixing, propane mixing into HHO gas is what's great is that I have no flashbacks basically. Even if I got some flashback it will pretty much stop in, inside the tube because the concentration of propane will, will start, start to rise and it will not be able to support flame. And I'm talking too much. But, <laughs> okay, I'm talking too much. What I fear basically is that this thing is a very thin brass thing and this is... Fuck, I'm still running gas. <laughs> yeah, it's very thin tubing and this thing is copper and it's soldered only, so... It's, it can get very hot and I don't know what happens if this gets very very hot, but so far so good, I guess. Also really no drama when turning the gases on, so I like that basically, but I guess it could be better. 
what I want to do. Yeah, I want to melt this thing and close it basically. This will be about this thick and about 23 centimeters. So I guess this still could make 20 centimeters thick condenser. In any case, I need some tube, and I'm not going to cut. I guess this second tube because. I found this thing, looks pretty okay, I guess I will now check every fucking 5 minutes or 5 seconds if there is, this is still streaming or so, paranoia, well, yeah, so what do I want to do, basically I want to put this inside there so it's centered, and for that I will use most precious item, toilet paper, right. I think I calculated that three, ter three strips is okay for this. I mean, most people used cardboard, but I found that cardboard is pretty hard to remove, basically. So I started to use this. Okay, put this other way around, but yeah, three was not, not enough. Guess I will put there fourth, 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 yeah, fourth. Okay. I want to do now, yeah, from this side. Okay, I didn't want to use this side because there's some thing and I'm afraid that it will crack. So, why is this wet? It shouldn't really be wet. Okay, it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it's not very centered, so... I will use one more piece. Okay, this should work. Now, now I want to blow from this side here. And for that I am using, of course, really primitive method. No bearings, nothing like that. But some piece of foam like this. This is like memory foam. I have this really from pillow. But I cannot sleep with pillows for some reason, so I will use this. So I will really just put this tube here, try to put this foam here. It does seal very well and it, it is pretty, not blue-bricious, of course it's not, but it doesn't really 
drag with the aluminium tubing in there. I mean, I had one bearing there, I tried, but for some reason this spindle will start to turn slowly, more slowly, and there were issues basically. The steppers are not the very ideal solution, but it is cheap solution. I mean it works. Okay now Do I really need to blow right there? I mean it will not seal that much so Yeah of course I forgot. I wanted to put these uh, these ports for water first. I'm not sure if I want to really do it, but I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's less things to worry about and because if you put this thing there, it has greater chance of cracking that if you put just port there and then this thing and never touch it again. At least that's the theory, so I guess I will do this right now. Okay, but I need to plug the end, so I'm also using this thing and just put a little piece there and... Because I don't want to touch this really with flame. But I should melt it first. I guess I can melt it afterwards. Yep, okay. It's streaming? It's streaming still. Okay. So the plan is mm, blow a bubble there and attach this. Okay. So I guess let's go. Well, I am smelling if there's any hydrogen. Best thing is that hydrogen doesn't have any smell. Okay. Oh, of course, I need to blow. Guess I will try to hit this a bit so there's no water. Okay, that's okay. Ah, oh, shite, whatever. It's too small, I guess. What? This is also too small, so whatever.
Oh, fuck. Well. Folk. Now I will speak funny on talk. Wow. Okay. I mean, this thing actually should be true to to axis of this thing and also this axis should be parallel to like this this plane of this tube but I mean I say good enough I guess I will, I will heat it up a little bit I see some stress in the glass my Oh, streaming I am, but I was wondering if my head is not in view, but then I realized that if I look at the screen I cannot see my head anymore. I guess I could put video, but I have comments on my PC shown there. Yeah, this thing sucks, but I don't care as long as this thing is functional. And what's this? Am I seeing some cracks? No, I'm not. There's some shit flying around in the tube. Okay, I guess... I guess I'm okay with this thing. Now what do I want to do? I want to connect this inner tube and outer tube. And then... I want to blow bubble there and... And connect one of these ports so I guess I will set up for that and blow bubble, blow bubble afterwards okay so what am I going, going with oh boy I guess I should straighten this a little bit yeah, cool. 
Am I going to put this first? Yeah, let's do it. Also, it's cracked. So, am I going to use this or am I going to make new one? Well, what is the chance I will screw this thing totally? You guy, what kind of flashback artistry do you use? Yo man, I am using basically bubbler, bubble, 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 bubbler right now, and I was using also thing which is well, it's supposed to be dry, so there's only sand there, and there's a lot of holes there, and basically sand is bubbling, but the issue is that is no longer it is no longer dry so it doesn't really work and why it's not dry i don't know somehow my bubbler is spitting water there don't know exactly how i haven't really looked into that oh and also as i said in the earlier portion of the stream i use i use propane to mix gas and basically the flame has no chance to get get besides the propane very very much and it has but like yeah where was i mm, yeah what's the chance of me screwing this up pretty high so i guess I'll, i will use this abomination there okay and wait a second, I need to have plug there, so... Uh, where's my plug? There's my plug, because I want to blow... What I want to do? I want to blow something there, so... I'm not really quite sure, of course bubble there, but afterwards... If this is okay... Yeah, this, this thing is quite can collapse on itself, so I want to blow there, so I need to plug this thing. Okay, so I'll plug this thing so it doesn't open. Hmm, should I? Well, basically, the issue is that since this thing cannot, can be not concentric, like... There's a little bit of slope there. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, you can. So, plan is that after this thing cools, I will open this thing a little tiny bit so this thing can have some play there also. But not now. I want this to be quite tight. I mean, I should. Should have uh, no, I shouldn't. Basically, oh, oh fuck, whatever. Before I really started, I I have some schematic quote unquote with my own imagined symbols there of what I want to do and how I want to do it and when I want to do and yeah. Things doesn't go always according to plan, so. I guess it's nice if you can improvise. Too much talking, okay. Oh, okay, <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. I mean, if in my plans I always had, oh, I always have gauges and stuff everywhere and sensors and whatnot, but Nothing like that happens there, so yeah, what do I want to do? Blow bubble there, so I need to put this off. So I bring this verniculite plate there, so I put glass on there, and guess what I didn't put there ever. Yep, that's right. Okay, nice, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Blow bubble. Okay, I'm like not quite sure how this will work because there's quite a lot of material, but I'll try. I 
wanted this to be like, like what, hour and a half stream? But, turns out that nope. More like four hours, but I guess I have time, so. Maybe if I don't talk so much, right? <laughs> and I don't know if I want to touch this even because I think I'll screw it big time. Maybe I can blow, right? And take this thing out, right? I should really just eat this. Basically, I don't want very thick wall there because it has very high chance of breaking them. should really look from side where you are but and this will take some ages I guess oh wait a second wait a second yep it's connected very nice There's this little piece, so I will try to melt that as much as I can. Okay, I'm not uh, super unhappy with this thing. Okay, now the bubble. I mean, I will let it cool a little bit, at least the outer wall. So I don't deform it too much. a bit too much oh fuck of course and I did another place or another uh, once again so this I screw this a bit uh, just a bit not a big deal okay yeah let me see oh fucking Okay. Oh man, this is... Wait a 
Well, I'm pretty sure it came from Bubbles, right? Okay. I'll try to climb this. two joints somehow well that sucks we'll see if it works and I think this when I stop this thing and then uh, blow them in segments, I found this works really fine, at least for me. I mean, normally on glass light you wouldn't do this, I guess. But this works. I streaming? Yep, I am streaming. I guess next time preparations is the key, I guess, as with everything. Right? It must going to be like a big condenser, isn't it? 
Who is Lightbeak? I mean, I know it's condenser. I guess Lightbeak is straight. I, I don't really know terminology. I really know nothing about glass blowing. I know nothing about chemistry. I know nothing about everything. <laughs> I'm just doing stuff. Don't blow while hitting. Do so suitable resin. Your uh, resin, resin, resin. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah to jo fix joints together. I mean. Uh, even then, what do you mean? Like resin, so the joints doesn't like stick together? That's not really a problem. Or you you meant some epoxy resin there? That would be a terrible idea. Basically, if you want to make some chlorinated solvents or something like that, it it would eat absolutely everything that's not glass. Maybe I should uh, really try to read the sentence to the end, right? Apparently, checks have poor synchronization when not powered. They have no synchronization when not powered. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kinda... You can spin one with another, but this is because it, uh, it will induce some current in the motor and turn the next one, but it's not really synchronization. and. Yeah, I mean, it could be better, of course, everything can be better, but I mean, how much money did I put into this thing, like... Well, that's a good question, but really, like, with the motors, about $300 tops, seriously, I was thinking, like, Okay, I'm not I'm not going to fuck with my motors, my own motors, so I'm going to buy some steppers and I was like, okay, power supply, 48 volt power supply, fucking 100 bucks or so, this is 12 volt thing with 120 watts and there's Arduino and some, uh, some MOSFETs again, barely on breadboard and some things and it kind of works. I mean, it works well for me at least what I want to do with, with this. And even then, why would you make condensers on, condenser on the lathe? Like, you can do it with hand, right? You should be able to. <laughs> but... I... I can't, I guess. If I try enough, and really, I want it. I want it to pretty much just demo this thing that how it works and what it can do. And I forgot to measure diameter of this thing. Fortunately, it's eight millimeter. <laughs> Too fucking light. Never mind. And what's this? Yeah. Yeah. I somehow, somehow, I flinched this too much, and I somehow across the outer outer wall of this tube so it looks like shit now but hopefully it will work I should try to no I will keep this plugged okay now the thing is that if this thing will not crack because I'm not going to touch this side anymore so if it will not crack then we basically won and we now need this paper out. Right. Easy, I said, right? I need some piece of wire or something. I don't have piece of wire or something. Man. I mean, I have super glue, but... Um, where is the... vernicular board? Oh. 
sorry, I I will go grab some wire. I meant I meant fix joints while you are working with them to avoid this connection. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really bothering with. Uh, I'm not really bothered with that problem. If you're telling, mm, I feel pro pain. Oops, sorry. <laughs> if you are telling, you know nothing. But I'm pretty sure it was you who made those pretty good working sodium electrolyters. Man, <laughs> uh, fucking. It was really stupid. I mean, I. Uh... I was like, I want some sodium, right? So I started to make some electrolysis like with small amounts, right? So I used steel, stainless steel or whatever containers. And then I was like, okay, so aluminum with uh, sodium shouldn't really like or should really react, right? So I don't know why I used that. Oh yeah, I used that because I thought that if I made enough potential difference between the electrode and the elec electrolyte then it will not react so i did that at, and it will not react but it didn't pass any current so i was like hmm there's something strange going on so investigated and turned out that i guess some non-conductive film was created on the surface that prevented aluminum to reacting with sodium hydroxide not sure Yeah, um, what I will say, uh, I wanted some air, so sorry, I will be right back. Oops. 3D print one and electrified with nickel. Uh, wait, I am. I have two devices and on one I did not receive previous comment. And wait, I can touch the screen, right? I think electroplated nickel as electrolyzer walls. Yeah, I guess it would work, nickel, but issue with nickel is that it's fucking expensive right and i tried to i tried to get one company to make some nickel plating for me but they do zinc often and when i told him that i want like i don't know what i told them like some 20 micron thickness of plating they told me that nah won't do it. Okay, so I will try to get this paper out because I thought that it was easy. Fucking... <laughs> you know what? It's not that easy. Man. Okay, let me let me think. Hope this will be Hmm. Shall we I could do this? At least I think I can. Hmm. But the thing is that glass is not cracking yet, so that's good. That's good. Think. Okay, don't do this, I guess. It's awful. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure that I that I had this paper quite a bit looser than maybe it should be, so that's why it was easy, perhaps. Fucking, I do have some pliers inside. Or tweezers. Okay, I have some tweezers, and I have saw, for no reason. Okay, issue with tweezers is that if you will try to squeeze them into tight spaces, it will close, right? <laughs> you know what? How about that? I'll put the paper a little bit forward then I guess I can try to dissolve it in water or it will be a little bit burnt, whatever okay, what do I want to do now? I guess... yeah, I want to basically just close this thing on the all of that. Okay, this. And I need this thing there, so yeah, I have this thing there. Yeah, and this thing. Okay, and. Okay, I should really do that. I guess right now. Nickelons are pretty common, I saw. So. Yep, they are, but not so much common that I can buy them locally. And I like to buy things locally. I mean, it's my thing, but. I'm not sure that it won't work. Of course, if you can, if you need it, go for it. I don't really need it, and I can't. <laughs> Another thing... Uh, it's so are toxic. Oh, well, yeah. Money salts are toxic. Even copper. If you unmill the glass anyway, because it will crack eventually, I am doing this... Chemical heating place. I have unmilling over. I had. Uh, for about or before about hour ago, but I forgot to turn it off at and I haven't it. God, the no, fucking! I don't have an annealing oven anymore. <laughs> yeah, I will anneal this because it will likely crack. Borosilicate, borosilicate is not something you can really do that good unless you practice a lot. Yep, that's what I'm doing basically. Yeah, non silicate. I mean, yeah, there's a reason why borosilicate is used for chemical apparatus, basically. But, surely it's possible. I Once I use that spiral CFL lamp, basically, 
I epoxied something, some hoses there and I used that as a cooler inside, bigger container. So, yeah, poor man's methods. <laughs> what I wanted to do, yeah, I wanted to blow a thing there so I can, so I can attach second port for water. And I guess this will, oh fuck, oh fuck, this will have to be careful, Link. Yeah, so this thing is plugged, it will probably, I will probably vaporize it. Oh yeah, I, want, I need to blow there. Okay, you know what, I am going to do this off in hand. I guess, put this thing there. And do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to turn off gas, so there's plenty. Most of the time when I'm doing this, I'm trying to not burn my hair because I have fucking long hair. So, yeah, I need to plug this, right? I will need to plug it, but I guess, I guess I'm okay right now. Okay, we're here. Okay. Fucking improvisation, right? <laughs> this one is pretty. Where is the camera? Well, you get the idea. Okay. Okay. Okay, this was the worst idea ever. Mm. So what I want to do? Yeah, I need to blow. Okay, I guess I guess I will continue. Yep, this was a terrible idea. Okay, pretty good, right? Uh, I will need to plug this before I continue.
Now you can't see anything. I have some pin holder, but I don't know exactly know where. Okay, okay. Oh man, this is this is very very wrong. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ow, fucking. Okay, okay. Let me try this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fucking. That scared me a bit. But I'm starting to get pretty... I'm starting to be pretty satisfied with this thing. I mean... It would be better if you could see what I'm doing, right? But, sorry. Now I can see what I'm doing. That's a bit worse. I mean, there's hole and it seals. So, that's plus. Okay, it's getting there. Hmm. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Should stop. Probably. Or at least let it fucking cool before we continue really with this. And this side is pretty collapsed. I guess I should switch hands. If that's a good idea to switch hands. Going. Okay, I should really try to find where I stopped or where I ended. Yeah. Blowing glass bubbles like that makes a lot of glass dust. Yep. You shouldn't really make it so thin, but it's like tent bubble in my life. <laughs> oh fucking! Okay, I'm. Mm. Okay, now this thing is collapsed and after I will repair this thing I will continue with something else. Even though it's... it looks like... it looks bad. And put it that way.
Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay. Man. <laughs> There's quite a bit of organics on this shield. I don't like that. I'll try to... How did it even... This shield was called? Yeah, so I will need to remove this burnt paper then, but... Yeah. I mean, uh, after I... Oh yeah, I will anneal it. Well... I guess I will paralyze it and fucking... Just remove carbon with passing water. That should work, right? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. It's not... It's not that bad. I mean, okay, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so now I, I want to pull this and close it there and melt it and close once again blah 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 connect this thing and we are pretty much done but i will need to blow there so i will have to connect it to oh wait that's plug okay i'm running out of out of how you call this fucking It's much easier to use sealed glass stems so we can apply pressure and then just open them up. Well... You mean like... Uh, like sealed glass tubes that are like... sealed on one side? I mean, I tried, but I failed to create one. Basically, I wanted to. I want to do the same thing there. Basically, so wait. What? What do I want to do? Yeah, I want to blow there, and I will need. Oops, sorry. Um... There was this smaller piece of foam that I used for this too, but I don't... I can't find it. That sucks. I'm going to do it in hand. That's a very bad idea, but... Yeah, that's... I mean, I, sh I, I could, I guess, now. Right, I need to connect this on light because I... I would connect it like, like, like this somehow. <laughs> if I will do it on, yeah, in hand. Okay, yeah, I need to fucking find some foam for sealing this thing and the holes for blowing. I'm prepared. I mean, this thing is pretty easy to basically form into anything you want. Just cut it, like, there, there, make, like, circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. And... Then I use this to basically push it through. Throw this away and you are done. 
Okay, so it wasn't that bad. Okay. Now the issue is, I have to put this chip there. I mean, this, this system is not great, right? Like, I should get some bearings as soon as possible. But I mean, would it help? Like, I guess not really. I, what I should say is I should try to make some, some more than less universal system because this is this is like this is bad this is bad i mean i guess i could have some some like rubber seal inside the tube and it would be like whatever you put there it will seal and if you don't want it to be there, you can like get it away. Like, not sure. I guess I should. I should look at some videos of how people do this. Really. Okay. Now try not to crack glass. I guess. Other issue with these seals is that they will they will pop out, so that's bad as well. Okay, am I going to pull it? I guess I really should, but yeah, I don't have really much area to drag it. Okay, we'll see what this does. I guess barely. Absolutely perfect, I would say. My question is, am I still sealing? I guess. I forgot before I close this I should really change the thing that I have here yeah this thing is absolutely gorgeous 
That's what I tried to do on the, in the beginning, but I failed. Okay. Sorry, I'm not reading comments. No. Try using 360, 360, fucking 360 degree bend thin wire to get the paper out. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, I did that, right? Where is it? Uh, I'm not sure if you... Like this is this is like some fucking ten thousand degrees, <laughs> so it should work better, right? Still fishing line bent to make a buck should work. Yeah, but it, well, kinda. Issue is that if you get on the other side and you try to basically you are trying to pushing the paper. If you are not pulling it, it won't really work. So. It's like the Chinese finger trap, or something like that, it's called. Anyway, blowing. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not... I should seal, right? I guess I should, otherwise I'm fucked. Okay. The idea is basically to push the melt the glass and push it towards the tube so it will seal. Yeah, I will need to blow double, so okay. And it's not sealed yet. It's not very structurally good, I guess, but it's nice. We'll try to bend it a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, I'm not feeling. Okay, sorry. This is pretty much perfect bubble as far as I can tell. I mean, it's still quite fine, but not as much. Okay. No. I am not sealing, but I cannot really stop. Or I can. I guess I should, but... No. As far as I can tell, this is the primary reason for cracking right now. The stress is involved here. see there that there's only pretty much hydrogen burning as far as I can tell. I'm not sure but definitely looks like that. Oh wait a second, I need plug there. Oh fuck.
Jesus. Okay. And where's my luck? That's the good question, right? I mean, I have this thing, but seriously, I think I did not use plug before because. I mean, where's the issue, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. I you're cracking glass. What's that? Anyway. Shoppy and yeah, it won't be so bad, right? Oops, fuck. Uh, where is this? Okay, that's nice. Okay, okay, now I will do my usual stuff by segments because I feel safe. Going that. Okay. Ah, I see. Fuck. This is not good. Oops. Okay, I will... Uh, I will let this thing be loose and... I turned it a bit while heating, so it has better chance to straighten up than if I do it by hand. That would be terrible, like really terrible. I mean, I guess not that bad, right? Are those sounds of sound of glass cracking? I thought as well, but... Oops, I'm hitting something completely different while looking at chef. Okay. I shouldn't really hit anything different right now, because... That could be a really bad idea. Okay, I think this is as done as it could be. So... Let's have a look. Okay, fine. I should really... Okay, 
I mean, don't see any cracks. I should pull this up out. Ah, fuck! No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't! Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, just a sec. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! that I yeah, I was stuck there. Okay, that's nice. So where was I? Yeah, I was looking at this thing. I see no cracks. This thing looks very ugly. Like oh, it would be bad. It would be nice if I could. If you can see it right, like there's some specks of glass that's pretty terrible. Other than that, this thing, this joint also looks terrible. But yeah, I guess let me let me see. Where's the yeah, this one uh, looked a lot better. But I think that's because, well, I shouldn't really show you this one as well, because, okay, this, I managed to get nice edge there, basically, like, but this thing looks fucking terrible as well. But yeah, I mean, this side is pretty bad. I think I started on this side and I started on this side and I ended here. I mean, I fucked this up, so I think the second try is worse than the first, so let's progress, at least. I've been watching video of experience glass blowers working and they really never allow glass to cool down completely until they finish the apparatus. Always lots of working burns seen. Yep, that's true. And I think that what I should try to do is make some Bunsen burner and use another gas bottle for that. I don't have one right now. But when I uh, when I made this thing, I pretty much pretty much made one side. I basically I made this piece, this piece. I connected these pieces three, like four. This side of tube was floating in air and then I had to unnail it because I was I always made one side let it cool down and it cracked and it was lost basically so I had I made this side unnailed that took it out make second side again unnailed it and that worked now I have basically this thing it's pretty much done in one go so that was my goal to basically check if i can make that work oh, wait a second i see fucking pinholes that's not good that means i have to hit this thing hit this side <laughs> fucking again well let's hope it will it will be okay right or do i see it just a second no, sorry. Where's my plug? Yep, there's pin hole. Okay. Oh, that's not fine. We will have to deal with that. Just a second, I will try to 
fucking not destroyed completely. Ah, oh, shite. It's lost. Ah, oh, shite. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Yeah, it's... I wonder... That's one... Another thing that I wanted to try. Okay, so I, what I should do is anneal this, and then... And then... Uh, try to repair it, I guess. That would work, I guess. Yeah, I... I have no chance of... Of saving this... Yep. Okay, so at least you see what happens when you when you fuck up big time. <laughs> but hey, ah, oh, shit. I mean, this cracks close pretty well. I don't know how. Usually when I get some crack, I it really starts to open and there's no saving it. But this thing looks pretty okay, as far as I can see. <laughs> oh yeah, pinhole, where was it? Somewhere there. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, there was it. There it was. Anyway, next time we'll have English lesson. And it's gone. And it's fucking ugly as hell. But I... I mean... <laughs> Do I really care at this point? Nah. It really sucks that I use a lot of these fittings. Ah, fitting, that's the word. I order about 10, basically for... Uh, for this purpose of of learning something and I have uh, about not sure well I have more because I made I made where, where are they I made these abominations. <laughs> this is, I, I think that's the first one that I made. I made three. So here I have fittings that I can use already. This is, I think, the last one. I learned really quickly to prevent this thing. You need to blow and pull and bend at the same time, which is pretty like... You really need to learn this before you try, otherwise you have no chance of doing it right. I'm not saying that I did it right, but... Yeah, where was I? Yeah, I'm wondering if I... This side, which is not correct, if I... If this is cool, I can hold this. I ha can hold this. If I put this in annealing oven, if it will crack or not, I think it will. Get in a bit of flame annealing. Yeah, I tried. No luck so far. Wall thickness is too thin. Huh. 
I don't quite think so. I have I have one more condenser there and I think this thing has about half of the glass thickness that this has. I mean I can I really see to tell? Not quite, only if I look at the correct side. But this is about 1.8 millimeters. This looks like 1. Point or 0. 0.8. So I'm not sure if the glass thickness is quite thin. Maybe it's too thick. I, I thought it was too thick, basically, so... Okay, okay, okay. Hmm... You can see your HHL generator is pretty sufficient to do the job. Please tell about it. I was talking about it in the beginning. Like, shortly. I have lots of videos about it, basically. Well, lots. But I can... Uh, where are we? Two hours? That's not too bad, actually. I'll disconnect charger so I can move this thing. And... yeah, I will... Fix the tripod. But... There's the amp meter. I, when I turn it now, it's a little bit hotter. It starts at about 4 amps, then it goes down. Yeah, about three. That's well. That's like seven hundred watts. So if when it's cold and starts, it it's uh, it's about like no four hundred watts, and it's warm to touch, like sixty maybe fifty fifty five degrees Celsius. And yeah, I mean, this thing, fucking don't tell me what to do. This thing sucks because it could be more compact, I think, basically. I used one millimeter stainless steel plates. That's ridiculous. I should use maybe 0.15 millimeters steel plates, stainless steel plates, because you could cut them then with scissors, basically. You don't really have to pay somebody to cut them at hydraulic scissors. I cut these with hydraulic scissors, they are fucking sharp as hell, and you... it was pain in the ass to drill holes into them, and... yeah, this is really bad. And... but much better than uh, what those guys do, but they probably cut these on different machines, so they can put rods through the gaskets and the and the sheets. But yeah, gaskets could be a little bit thinner, I guess. So you can use more sheets, so it will be much more efficient. This thing will heat up water in like three hours of... no, one in two hours of constant usage, basically, it will be boiling. So that's not really good, maybe even less than that. So, yeah. But other than that, it's really just connected to mains and rectified, and that's that. I wanted to regulate it and, you know, gauges and sensors and regulation, but nah, nothing like that happened re yet. Okay, I'm too, too behind in, in, in the comments, so sorry. <sighs> Running on all, annealing all, always makes glass, makes repairs easier. It'll be better if I could read, right? Yeah, I, I could imagine. If you had Bunsen burner and let it get back to temp, you could heal those cracks. Yeah, I, they close pretty pretty well, but that's okay, but they propagate, that's the problem. But, but I know what you mean, yeah, of course, of course, I think so. I don't know, I was thinking about uh, if I could make glass Bunsen burner, because I have a lot of glass and I don't have, don't have a lot of other materials and I can can process glass, and I can process other materials. 
I guess why not then, right? I mean, problem you problem you have is you can break it easily, so that sucks. But yeah, I should I should try make one. If not like good one, then at least some improvised thing that will work. Prop, yeah, probably still be visible. Don't know what you mean exactly, but lots of heat bend and then fix the inside of the mini torch. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to tr going to fix this. Fix this. I could try. I mean. But I will more likely order more glass and proceed to really, before I start learning fixing things, I should try to focus on making them, basically. So I am okay with burning some money right now and then maybe, at least that's, that's my uh, my, my, I don't know. We need a propane source. Having said that, hmm, look at this yellow tube. What can it, what can it be? Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay. No, I I will probably use this these little bottles. No, on your joint it's still thin and uneven. I mean, uh, don't know, man. Uh, really, I I compared this thing with uh, the other condenser, and this thing I think this is pretty good. I think. I mean, what what could be problem? I mean, it would be structurally less sound or the problem with breaking i don't think that fin joints are problem with breaking that i don't think so maybe my i i think what could go wrong there is that uh, i don't put enough heat into the joint and also the thing that i am i don't have concentric concentric spindles so the glass may be stressed I think that's a much bigger problem there. You might need thicker wall joints. Mm, yeah. This way. <laughs> Beast bill. Oh, fuck yeah, I am too far uh, behind the comments. You could always condense a bit down where the joint meets the top and can. Always uh, of the can, yeah. Condense a bit down when the joints meet the top of the can on the condenser. That will help with unevenness. Mm, not sure what you mean. Uh, I should really study some terminology so I can I can understand your comments really better because. I really, I really have no idea sometimes. Flame for annealing, you want to shoot piece up and get a nice glow underneath. Yep. You tried working with quartz with the hydrogen. Yep. I mean, I can, uh, I tried to bend like 10 millimeter tube. It worked. Maybe if you, wait a second.
sorry, I'm too impulsive, fucking. <laughs> yeah, I uh, found source for these uh, quartz tubes. I am using them in, uh, in the annealing oven. It's the same thing. This thing costs like one dollar, and it's fucking long tube of quartz. Where, where is this? It's like, sorry. It's like long and, and it's it's quartz tube. But it's it looks like they used very thin uh, like what fibers of quartz and then then sintered them together to form the tube. Focus you fuck. Right. No. I mean, you can uh, you can cut it pretty much like a glass. Yeah, and I, uh, <laughs> I, I tried, as you can see. I, yeah, okay. And there's also this one. This look. Uh, this look, even more different. This is uh, this is obviously sealed, and there's uh, some. What's the what's the element name? Fucking. Uh, Wolfram. Tungsten, yeah, there's tungsten wire inside, so this is operating at like, I don't know, I have it in some video, I guess, 400 watts, or six, yeah, 400 watts, I think, these are 600 watts, and these are not sealed, these are just cantal wire, cantal wire inside. Okay, I guess I'm once again too too far behind the comments but I can uh, what I can do with this thing I can uh, I can bend it but I cannot really process it like really behind behind this behind this like it's too tough even for oxyhydrogen especially if I mix propane there hmm Iconal mesh. That's like not. I am not quite sure what what is it regarding to, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Bunsen burn Bunsen as Bunsen's are pretty easy to whip up and reduce breakage by far. Uh, yep, they are easy to to put together. Uh, I need second one soon. They're great. Nice to be able to walk. Uh, to walk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really like to. To. Go away once. Uh, go away until the AGO is turned on because. Well, it's explosive hazard basically, so I don't like that. And mainly the flame, the flame of AJO will basically vaporize anything in just milliseconds, so it can cause fires very easily. There's my kid making noises, by the way. She can't really breathe, but. So, sorry for that. Uh, if you got pain, you are in business then. Pain? Like, <laughs> I'm not sure. I, bit of graphite tape. Not sure. Sure, what do you mean there? I'll send you a link for my late playlist. Please do. I will like to have a look. Maybe I maybe I already saw those because um, some time ago I really just look at glass blowing videos and just absorb the information. Quartz is super easy to fuse together. Well, given enough 
pressure and temperature of course it's super easy <laughs> but technically even if even if you don't have temperature i think i mean in, in ceramics but i really ceramics is fucking that's beyond science that's magic really i i have no idea how to how to <laughs> I emailed you, said late ladies. Oh, thanks. And are there any comments? I will check one from because these are recent, I guess. And I can see. Yeah, pain is propane. I thought so. Is graphite tape on any joint that might get a little hot? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't really had any problems until, until now, basically. What? This was a little bit stuck, I guess. Yeah, I guess I, you could put pretty much whatever there. But yeah, I, f I guess graphite is best. Mm. <laughs> okay, I, I think I think I will I will wrap this up here, I guess, because I should really. A, take a piece, and B, do some work, other than this. You can also use quartz joints, like, you mean quartz mixed with uh, borosilicate? I tried to fuse them, but they... I mean, technically they should fuse, because they have both coefficient of expansion, thermal coefficient of expansion, really low, right? What I tried, yeah, I, I told this on, in the beginning of the, of the stream, I, I tried to fuse pieces of alumina basically on glass, so I have, I have like cutting, cutting thing for glass, because I don't have really anything to cut right now. Thinking about, like some tungsten carbide, uh, yeah, some broken end mills, I could probably source this somehow, but I was thinking I can melt aluminum, so why, why not make my own, right? If I could make like crystal, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, not really. I was watching the elemental maker, so I uh, he, he was making rubies, like... I was thinking about like where is where is it like this thing if you if you put like very fine powder there as well it will be bubbled through it will get get carried with the gas and you can basically fuse it once it gets out so I was thinking about that why is this not showing comments when 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 comments are commented on comment section. Yeah, just use quartz joint as a plug joint. Ah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It will not fuse, yeah. Yeah, that, that should work, but I can imagine the, this will be fucking expensive. And what I, want, what I wanted to look at is why my annealing oven is not working. Because it did, but it's, it doesn't right now. Fucking don't tell me what to what to do. You cannot turn phone apparently for some weird reason, but I guess it's just yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know why why does what's the problem there? It shoots uh, fucking uh, let's Apparently, my copper wire that, that was connecting this has oxidized into oblivion. 
Okay, but at least you got the little the title right. Yep. <laughs> I was pretty certain that it will it will something will go terribly wrong. Okay, um so I guess thanks for joining me and I'm closing this now. So see you next time. Wait, how do I how do I stop streaming? Like yeah, there's some X. Stop streaming. Yep. Okay, bye.